So this is going to be the second time that I am recording this video because the first time I recorded it, I didn't like the way it came out. I feel like this is blurry. I'm just going to wipe the, the camera thing, so hold on a second. I don't know if that helped or not, but, um, so this is the second time that I'm recording this video because I didn't like the way it came out the first time, and I'm going to start making videos, like, all about my piercing videos, like, all about my belly button piercing and all about my tongue piercing and stuff like that. So this one is going to be all about my tongue piercing. I'm trying really hard not to shake this around, but it's kind of hard. I'm sorry. But, so I got my tongue pierced when I was 16 years old, and I needed parental consent. So, I, okay, um, I didn't, my dad did not want me to get my tongue pierced, so one day I just, I said, can you take me down to the piercing place? Well, it's a piercing place and a tattoo shop, so I just said the name of the place, I was like, can you take me down there? And he was like, oh yeah, sure. I didn't tell him why. So we got down there, and we went inside, and I, I think I asked the guy, I was like, how much is tongue piercing? And he was like, $50. And my dad was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm going to get my tongue pierced. And he was like, no, you're not. So, he made me leave, and I couldn't get it. Because he was afraid that, like, it was going to get infected and stuff like that. But, you know. <clears throat> um, so the very next day, after that, I had my mom take me down there. And I got it pierced. Why do I do that? I do that weird, like, thing. I'm sorry. That's really annoying. I know it is. I'll try not to do it anymore, but the next day, um, my mom took me down, I just did it again, wow, I'm sorry, anyway, my mom took me there, and because I was 16, I needed, like, her and stuff, because I wasn't legal, so, <laughs> uh, my tongue No, I don't like that. Um, my, I'm just gonna sit over here like this. <laughs> my tongue had to be pierced differently than most, like the average tongue piercing, because my tongue, um, like webbing, I think it's called, is it goes higher up, and some people actually can't get their tongue pierced because of that. So if you want your tongue pierced and the piercer says that I can't pierce it, it's because your tongue web is too long or whatever. And the top of it is like more forward than normal ones are too, so um, I'll show you. So it comes like almost out of the tip of my tongue. Okay, so, um, oh, the piercing, it costs $60, I think. Yeah, 60 bucks. And when he pierced it, well, they mark it. And I'm not sure if they have you look at it or not. I don't think they do. But you have to, like, open your mouth and, um, like, put your tongue at the roof of your mouth. And you have to sit there with it like that for, like, a long time and it's really it's like awkward and I think they pierce it like that with the, like you have to have your tongue on the roof of your mouth which is weird but um um I just forgot what I was gonna say oh okay <laughs> so my the guy pierced it from the bottom to the top and <clears throat> He, like, pierced it halfway, 
and then he stopped in the middle and then pierced the other half. So it was like, and like when he paused in the middle and pushed it through the other half, like that really hurt. Like just like, I don't know how to describe it. If he had just pierced it straight through fast, it wouldn't have hurt. But just like when he paused, that hurt. So I don't know if they, if people normally pierce like that, like tongues, but and that's how mine did it. Um, and mine bled. I don't know if all of them bleed or not, but I wasn't expecting it to bleed, but it bled. Ugh. Um, and I could eat or drink anything that I wanted to after I got it done. And the next three days, two or three days, it the swelling increased. And then the next, my focus keeps like going in and out. And then the two days after that, which is the fourth and fifth day, the swelling like decreased or whatever. Um, when I got home that night, I could not eat anything. My tongue hurt so bad. But you can take um, like Tylenol or Advil or something like that to try and help. Um... I think it takes six months to heal. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, and when they pierce it, they put a longer bar in. Uh, um, so after the six months, or even when the swelling goes down, I think you can go back and get it changed to a shorter bar, but I didn't do that. I just kept the long bar in for like six months. And I actually, I chipped one of my teeth on it. Which is really kind of bad, but, you know, whatever. It happens, I guess. Uh, and when you have to use, um, like, alcohol-free mouthwash to clean your mouth. Um, I'm not sure how long you're supposed to do that for, though. But, you know, they'll probably tell you. I think that you can use, like, salt water, too. But I just used a mouthwash. Hmm. I'll show you. Um. And I'm actually allergic to... They have, like, two different tongue rings, kind of. Like, they have, like, metal ones and, like, plastic ones here. I'll show you. Ugh. See, like, a metal one, and then plastic. And I can't wear the metal ones. Um, oh yeah, I should, um, so if, I'm not sure if, like, this has ever happened to anybody else. I don't think it has. But if you get your tongue pierced, and it's, like, healed, and you put, it takes a while, though. Like, if I wear them for a few months... My tongue will, um, it'll get swollen, and there'll be a hard ball in my tongue that kind of is, like, it kind of resembles, like, a cancer lump, kind of, and it's, like, right here. Like, right there. So, if that happens to you, it's okay. I mean, it's not, like, I don't know. But if you just, like, clean it and, like, change your tongue ring, it'll probably go away if you wear the metal ones and that happens because I'm just allergic to them. So if that happens to you, you might be allergic to them. So just try changing it. And if it doesn't go away, then go to your piercer. Um, I think that's all I wanted to say. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it wasn't too vague or, like, shaky or anything like that. Because this is my second time recording it, because I didn't like it the first time. And I'll probably upload another one of these, like, tomorrow or something. But some of these, some of my piercings I did myself, so I don't really... I mean, I guess I can just say the aftercare or something I don't know
I wouldn't recommend piercing yourself, though, <laughs> unless you're, like, educated or whatever. Because you can, like, mess yourself up if you don't know what you're doing. Because there's, like, a nerve over here that comes, like, right here. I don't know. Like, just don't pierce yourself. Don't be like me. <laughs> well, I'm actually, I know a lot about, like, where the veins and stuff are. And I said that in another video. So I'm just going to go now. Goodbye. Thank you for watching.